Um, hopefully everybody in Howard is getting to shelter fast because that's going to be there very uh, quickly. You don't have much time. Back on our Texas storm, we're starting to get a little bit of a better view of the, uh, I believe, the rotating part of the storm here. really intense storm overall um, and I do want to uh, remind you that uh, this storm that we're looking at here that's moving up into uh, Lake Kemp and, and that area north of Seymour is capable of producing uh, baseball sized hail Um, Mark's feed is starting to get a little bit of a better um, handle on uh, what the part of the storm that we should be looking at as well. Um, Andy, go ahead. Hey, Ryan. I think with reasonable uh, consideration that um, we could see, I, I could just bet that this uh, storm in Oklahoma, West Oklahoma, is producing a tornado right now between Geary and Calumet. So I, I think that's headed over mostly rural areas, as you've mentioned, but eventually the storm will get pretty close to Okarchi or Okarch and Kingfisher in Oklahoma into Kingfisher County. A new County. tornado so warning watch out has been issued. For this. Okay, thank you, Andy. Uh, this is the uh, really strong storm that most of our storm chasers have kind of flocked to. Um, so I think there, there, there is a tornado here. Um, uh, Brad Arnold should be seeing that soon, uh, as he is in Calumet. He is in Calumet right now. So Brad Arnold should be giving us a, 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 a view of this storm. So uh, if you're in um, Oak Arch, and even like uh, Andy said, all the way down towards Kingfisher, you need to be watching this one closely. It's going to be coming up towards you. And then we just got a new tornado warning as well over here in uh, uh, Kansas. Uh, pretty strong area of rotation. A new one here coming up towards Cedar Vale. Yep, and that's gotten really strong really fast. So these storms are not playing around uh, over here in Kansas. Cedar Vale, you got to take shelter. Also, we've got our uh, big time uh, rotation coming towards Howard to Kansas. Uh, please uh, take shelter over there as well. That one uh, might be producing a tornado here soon if it's not already. Way up into Missouri, we still got a tornado warning here for Ridgeway and Eagleville. Not too long ago, an emergency manager reported that tornado. And we've got severe thunderstorm warnings littering the screen all the way up past Cedar Rapids and towards Dubuque. We're about to see some severe thunderstorms pop off in Wisconsin. So, we're, we've got big storms in Wisconsin, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. Almost the entire length of the U.S. here uh, in this line uh, is, is convecting with uh, big-time thunderstorms. And unfortunately, some of them are like this one in Texas and are life-threatening as they are likely producing big tornadoes and also baseball-sized hail. By the way, y'all, um, I keep talking about, you know, where's Brad Arnold? Where's this chaser? Where's that chaser? Uh, if you're new here, you probably haven't heard me talk about it before. But uh, right now, the software that I'm using to show you the radar is called Radar Omega. All right. You can get it on your phone. 
iOS or Android. And right now you can open up your app, look at the same stuff that I'm looking at, and you can click on Brad Arnold's face and you can look at his stream. There's a uh, uh, 200 of you guys watching with me right now, and you can put it to the side, and you can keep, you know, looking a at the radar tornado and stuff. You don't have to wait on issued. me to pull it up. Um, so that's a really cool thing about r- the Radar Omega app. Um, it's nine dollars. Okay, it has the capability of a one hundred thousand dollars TV studio radar software. I use it to 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 guide millions of people every year through the worst severe weather events that the country experiences and it's it cost me nine bucks so you know if new you're interested in that this I, tornado I warning it. has been upgraded uh, new confirmed uh, elk county uh, new confirmed tornado warning in elk county kansas we've also got a new uh, tornado warning in oklahoma here for kingfisher kingfisher is now included in our warning um i do want to show you the The latest on our Kansas storm, Um, Howard, hopefully everybody in that town of Howard is in shelter. Uh, We've been talking about you for a while now. It seems like we do have a tornado here on the ground with this storm. Uh, Weather spotters confirmed a tornado. So please, uh, please um, get to shelter immediately if you haven't. Cave Springs and Fiat, you're next in uh, Kansas to receive the impacts from that storm and once again this is a huge rotating storm it's if it's going to produce a tornado or if it's still producing a tornado it's likely a big one yep nine dollar one time one time uh purchase you you can pay for a subscription for some extra tools here and there but it's not uh it's not required Got a lot of different uh, sales uh, popping up down here uh, south of uh, Trenton in uh, Missouri. We'll have to watch those pretty closely, too. Uh, Nick Busby is looking at some scud right now, but it's also, you know, a part of the storm that we do need to keep an eye on. But right now, I think the Seymour storm is not actively producing a tornado at this moment. If it is, it's deep inside there. It's rain wrapped. Um, but I think that, uh, oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Look at all the storm chasers. He just went by a, probably at least 30 cars pulled on the side of the road there. Uh, but yeah, I think that uh, this storm is not currently producing a tornado, but it's probably going to try to again here soon. Uh, so uh, get ready once again in uh, Wichita Falls. This is eventually coming towards you. Towards you, sorry. Okay, Brad Arnold's got a great view of our storm up there near Calumet now. Hey, Ron, it's Chris. We are coming into Kingfisher from the east side. Um, we're watching the storm to our south. Um, maybe we'll have a view of it here in just a little bit. Okay. So Chris is going to be on this storm as well. Now, this storm uh, near Calumet was producing a tornado not too long ago. I don't know if it still is. Uh, I don't necessarily see it from Brad Arnold's point of view, and I should um, if it was still producing one, um, because he's right. He's right next to the, uh, the 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 hook. So as he gets a little bit closer, we'll confirm that. But uh, this is if it's not currently producing one, it's very close, and we need to be sheltered in Okarsh right now, and Kingfisher. Yeah, it doesn't look to me like it's on the ground at this moment. 